Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Hi, everybody. Listen, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine a few days ago. And one of the things that struck me is how many cases there are of child rape, molestation, fondling. I mean, all kind of craziness out there. Now, we know these are the last days and we know that a lot of these, uh, you know, when you look at the media, a lot of the programs, a lot of the music, everything is geared toward lusts and sex, right? We know that. But we don't realize what an effect it's having on the people in our country, right here in America, globally, actually. You've got human trafficking. You've got sex slaves. You've got the down low. You've got pedophiles spending money purchasing little children. I mean, it is ridiculous. Now, let me share this with you. She told me that one of the cases she knew of was a woman who had three children. Two of them had been molested repeatedly. The other one was living elsewhere, coming in and out. But the two that stayed there all the time were molested repeatedly. The mother knew nothing about it. The, the, the uh, young children didn't say anything. And it started when they were four and five years of age. So let me caution you. Those of you who have nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, uh, grandsons, granddaughters, watch your children and watch who they hang with. This woman had children who were molested by an uncle. They were also being molested repeatedly by teenage boys that happened to be sons of the babysitter. You got to watch it because this thing is running so rampant. It is definitely what you would call a, what is the word they use when it's all over the place? An epidemic. It's an epidemic. Oh my goodness. Listen, whatever you do, you be very careful. Now, one of the things that this woman told me she did with her kids that told me the story, she said she goes through her kids' stuff. She doesn't care about their privacy. <clears throat> Some of you need to do that because you will find that there may be diaries or <coughs> communication with older kids that they go and play with. And sometimes the telltale signs are right there in the text messages of the phones. Sometimes the kids write notes to their friends saying what so-and-so did to them. And then you wonder why your kids are becoming ingrown and, and, and isolated and withdrawn and you, you wonder why the change of attitude. But see, the sad part is many of you avoid that question. Has anybody been messing with you? Has anybody felt you up or pulled you off to the side and tried to force you to do? Has anybody raped you? Now, here's the sad part. The two girls, four and five years old, they didn't know what was going on. And these boys were sticking their penises in the girls' mouths. And you wonder why sexual sex is on a rampage. Because these kids are being inundated and they're being overtaken and, and consumed with demons of lust. They just transfer from one to the next to the next like musical kids. These demons are just going all over. It doesn't matter. Or musical demons, whatever you want to call it. And they're just jumping from one to the next. They're spreading the sickness. 
because it does become a psychological issue. And you wonder why some kids don't like Uncle Sam. Some kids don't like Aunt Laura. Some kids don't like Cousin Philip. Why? Because it's been going on repeatedly. And they threaten these kids and tell them, you better not, or I'm going to kill, or I'm going to hurt, or they never believe you. I mean, they come up with all kinds of psychological uh, bondages and blackmails to stop these kids from telling so they can do it as often as they will. You parents and you, you authorities, you people in school, you nurses, counselors, you better keep your eyes open. You have a good child that's been doing well and all of a sudden they turn, you better check them out and say, you know what, we need to give them a physical. Because you may find the, the damage that's done. The evidence might be right there on their bodies. If you just take time to look. If you care enough to look. We need to stop this. And we're too busy turning a blind eye. Oh, it's not all that. Yeah, right. You keep believing it all you want. That's your warning. And that's all I'm going to say.